Is there something that you have to do, but just the thought of starting it is already exhausting enough? No matter how much we want to do something, just thinking of the effort we have to exert may be enough to discourage us from taking the first steps towards accomplishing it. Greg McCown's Effortless guides readers on how to breeze through such arduous tasks and presents a different perspective which is contrary to popular opinion. The road to success does not necessarily have to be a difficult one. Here are the top 7 lessons we can take away from Greg McCown's Effortless. Lesson 1. Define the finish line. In any task, our end goal should be crystal clear. We have to describe the moment of completion so that we would know when we could finally say that we've already accomplished the task. Not knowing where our efforts are headed and not knowing when the task will end make us feel overworked, which could reduce our motivation to keep on going. Clearly defining the end goal would also be easy for us to monitor how near we already are towards the finish line, which in turn could inspire us to keep on going. Lesson 2. Think ahead. When starting a task, we have to map out what we're going to do. It would be helpful to explore the options on how to accomplish the task so that we could choose the most viable path, the most effective one, yet that requires the least amount of effort. If we take the let's cross the bridge when we get there mentality, we might end up spending too much time and effort in trying to find out how to cross the bridge. We may find ourselves tired and exhausted, yet not anywhere near our goal. Thus, we have to think about how we're going to reach our destination even before we start the journey. Lesson 3. Start with the first step. When we already know where we're headed and how to get there, the next thing to do is for us to take the first step. Getting started with the task could actually be challenging, especially if we do not know exactly what the first step is. Sometimes we put off doing a task because we're immediately overwhelmed of the things that we have to do. In this case, we have to realize that we could never get things done if we do not start doing it. And so, we just need to know where to start. Taking the first step towards accomplishing a task could also be rewarding, since it tells us that we're already one step closer towards the goal. Lesson 4. Solve problems before they happen. Any endeavor is not free from setbacks and difficulties, but we could always do something about it. Like what doctors say, prevention is better than cure, so we need to anticipate the problems we might encounter along the way. Doing so can help us think of preventative measures so that these problems won't arise or to prepare for damage control if we ever encounter one. Being prepared could allow us to effortlessly handle any obstacle that would come our way. Lesson 5. Work at your own pace. One thing that could also make us feel overworked and easily exhausted when doing a task is when we compare ourselves with others. When we see others accomplishing more in a day's work than us, we easily feel frustrated with ourselves and end up pushing ourselves beyond our limits or giving up on our goal. When this happens, we need to remind ourselves that we have to work at our own pace, regardless of how fast or slow other people may be moving. We need to decide for ourselves the minimum and maximum effort we could exert on a daily basis, which would allow us to get to the finish line we have set for ourselves. The goal is to complete the task, following a sustainable pace to prevent burnout. Lesson 6. Enjoy while working. Some people could get so focused on accomplishing a task that they fail to enjoy the process of doing so. Nobody said that the path towards success should be all work and no play. It's actually possible to enjoy the destination, while enjoying the journey at the same time. Enjoying working on the tasks would make us more motivated and would not make us feel that what we're doing is against our will. This also implies that we need to take a break from the tasks every now and then. We deserve some time to recharge ourselves and do something else beside our tasks. Lesson 7. Refute Negative Thoughts The journey toward our goal could easily be hampered by negative and self-defeating thoughts. There are also times that we find ourselves complaining over the hard work we're putting in. Sometimes these thoughts can be so powerful that it makes us question our capacity to succeed. When this happens, Greg McCown suggests that we need to refute our own negative thoughts. Whenever we think that we could not make it, we could think of how far we've come already. When we feel that we're the most miserable person on earth, we could think of things we could be grateful for. A shift in our thoughts and perspectives can make us push through with our journey towards our goal. In conclusion, overall, the book is relatable since it provides real-life examples about how to achieve more even while doing less. In hindsight, it may sound like basic common sense, but after reading it, we'll realize the lessons are actually quite challenging to apply. The book emphasizes that we don't have to stretch ourselves beyond our limits just to prove that we're working hard and worth it of a success. We could always simplify the process, focus on the essential tasks, and effortlessly get the results that we want. Thank you for listening. If you like the book summary and you want to see more in this category, please like and subscribe so I can create more. You can also get a free copy of the entire audiobook by clicking the link in the description. Until next time.